Let's take a look at working with complex numbers on a T84 plus calculator. Now, first one to take a look at is the square root of negative 49. Now, if I uh, type it in directly, let's see what happens. So I'm going to do a second x squared, and I'll put a negative 49. You don't have to put a closing parentheses, but I'll go ahead and do it anyway. So we get a non-real answer. So you quit. Uh, so I won't, won't uh, give you the solution to that. But if we go to mode, and you see down, uh, oh, whichever line that is, where it says real, and then A plus BI, and then our last one. Um, if you right arrow over, highlight A plus BI, and press enter. So now you should see the shading on that. Then we'll do a second mode. Now if I do it, I do second X squared negative 49 and uh, I'll put a closing parentheses for completeness sake and press enter you see it gives you 7i um, so that would be our answer for this particular one let's take a look at adding um, two together we got uh, um, what do we have here a little bit so I can see it with the calculator these you pretty well just type in exactly as you see it. Uh, the important part to note is that the I is above your decimal. So we'll put in the beginning parentheses, 1 plus 5 and then second decimal, and then closing parentheses, plus, and then the beginning parentheses, 8 minus 2, and then second decimal, closing parentheses, and then you press enter. And your answer is 9 plus 3i. Let's take a look at uh, subtraction. Again, we pretty well type in exactly as you see it. I'm pressing clear a couple times to clear the screen. Okay, do a beginning parentheses, 3 plus 2, second decimal, closing parentheses, minus, and then beginning parentheses, 4 minus 7, second decimal, and then close parentheses, and then enter. And our answer is negative 1 plus 9i. Multiplication. Um, do a beginning parentheses, 11 minus second decimal for the i. Uh, close parentheses, beginning parentheses, 2 plus 3 and then second decimal, and then closing parentheses, and uh, then press enter. And our answer is 25 plus 31i. Division. Now for division, um, let me uh, bring up my tablet so I can write this down. Assuming I can find my, there it is, it's looking for my pen. Okay, we got uh, 3 plus 2i over 5 minus i. We mentioned this back in the graphing video, but anytime in your calculator where you got more than a single number, or single variable, or a single i on top or bottom of your fraction, the trick to using your calculator is to put parentheses around that part. So I put parentheses around the top part and parentheses around the bottom part. The um, if I had a single i up here, I wouldn't need the parentheses around it. it. Wouldn't hurt anything. Well, let's plug this in and see what we get. So I'm gonna do a beginning parentheses, three plus two, second decimal, closing parentheses divided by beginning parentheses five minus second decimal, closing parentheses, enter. And we get decimals. To change any decimals to a fraction on your T84 plus calculator, you press math, enter, enter. So we do math, enter, enter. And then our answer will be one half plus one half i. Let me write down what I just said. To go from decimal to fraction on your calculator, we're going to do math. Enter, enter. We'll see this a lot in, um, when working with the calculator. 
I kid my students that uh, they may not remember uh, much about college algebra six months after, but they'll probably, if you ask them, they'll remember math in or inner. Let's take a look at this one, i to the fourth. Well, i to the fourth, pretty well just typed in as we see it. So I'm going to get the move, there it goes. So I do second decimal for the i, and then I'll do caret, that's how I always do power, four, and then press enter. And our answer is one. Let's look at this one, i to the 400 uh, first power. So I do um, second decimal, caret, 401, and then press enter. Okay, so we got i to the 401st power is equal to 4.9e negative 12 plus i. Let's interpret this. 4.9e to the negative 12. What that means is that means 4.9 times 10 to the negative 12 plus i. Now 10 to the negative 12 means I move my decimal place uh, 12 places um, to the left. So we're going to have point 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 4, 9, plus i. Well, um, a lot of the different functions, uh, different mathematical uh, calculations uh, that the calculator does is numeric, and you have rounding error. Well, point zero 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 four nine. What's that round to? Well, that rounds to zero, doesn't it? So they're saying zero plus i, which gives us i as our answer. Um, basically, whenever you see um, when you're working with imaginary numbers, um, whenever you see this part right here, that part always drops away because it's always equal to zero. Now, the one exception might be if you combine uh, imaginary numbers with um, astronomy or something where where maybe it makes sense to have real small or real huge um, numbers. And that's, oops, that's complex numbers on a T84 plus calculator.